Hello everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about um, Harry Whittington's Mourn the Hangman. This book, um, shockingly, was great. If you recall the try a chapter I did about it, it's about this guy who is a private detective who does, um, it seems to be like they do more corporate investigations. And, um, he's working this case that's kind of, um, kind of scary, and you don't really know what it's about or, um, what's happening. So the dude's name's Blake. And he comes in and tells his partner that he's out. He doesn't want to do it anymore. Because his um, new wife, named Stella, doesn't like him doing it. And the case that he's on right now is making him not be home very much. And it's really hurting their relationship and whatnot. And, um, the company that he's been going after is called, uh, the guy's called Aaron Hauer. And, um, see, the thing about this book that's really cool is that you don't know a whole lot about the private eye company. You don't know a whole lot about Aaron Howard's company. And you don't have to. You don't need it. It's not... It doesn't move the story forward. And as things happen, you get little bits. Like, it turns out that there was a kind of whistleblower who um, had some machinery that wasn't supposed to explode, explode in his face and, um, kind of hollow out his skull, um, with projectiles. Um, and the way it was set up made it look very suspicious. So, um, Blake goes home to tell his wife that He's quit, and he's done, and she's dead on the floor. Now, the there's two things about this book that troubled me, I guess is the best way to put it. So, Blake is a ex-cop, and when he finds the body, instead of... Because his idea is he has to find who did it because he's going to kill him himself. And if he lets the police get involved, um, that will hamper him doing that. So he just leaves and locks the door and he's going to go find who did it. But um, he finds out pretty soon that... Um, the cops know about it and that they're after him and he knows these cops and he never once like makes a phone call and says hey I didn't do it I'm looking for the guy who did it he never calls a lawyer and says hey I didn't do it I'm gonna find out who did it he's just like the first half of this book, he keeps saying, he's going to catch this guy, he's going to catch this guy. But the first half of the book is him being chased and um, making it to where there's no possible way he could ever find out who did this because he's being chased. And um, so that annoyed me, but the story never lets up. So, like, even though I'm like, I don't think he would have done that. 
the pacing of this story is so good. Like, I don't have enough time to contemplate. He sh really should be doing this before something crazy happens. He ends up meeting Aaron Hauer. Aaron Hauer really comes off as, like, maybe not likable, but, like, a pretty alright guy. And, um, it's just... You gotta give credit where credit's due. And, um, this kept me guessing over and over and over and over. It was just really well told. I think there was a point where the literati decided that when a story is just so exciting and just keeps moving, that that is not art. That is just, I don't know, spinning a yarn. Or I, 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 I can't comprehend how this guy didn't become like a household name. It just boggles my mind. Because his stuff is very pulpy, but it's not like, it's not kiddish, if that makes sense. It's not like, um, I don't see this as getting the same um, negative response as, say, someone who wrote comic books or someone who wrote um, hero pulps or something like that. It just, I don't know, like, the book was really good and just those two little bits about him not calling the cops or calling a lawyer and maybe that's just something where it's like I've been conditioned to think that that's what someone would do in that situation because of all the other books that have done that maybe that's why I'm thinking that's something that should have been done but um yeah like another knock out of the park by good old hair um so yeah and like it seems like that when i do these videos on um harry whittington it doesn't really seem like many people have read him and um i don't blame you guys for that i blame the availability of his books on that um so if you have, um, I would be curious to know what you have read or how you got a hold of it. If it was like a Black Lizard thing or um, those uh, prologue ebooks or 280 Steps. Um, it's just, it's so weird. There's so many books out there that are just not as good that everyone has read and um it just it's it's mind-boggling um that's it it's just mind-boggling so um everybody have a good day and i will see you later